Okay, I'm excited. I have my box here from High Point Scientific. Here we got the High Point Scientific for uh, my new camera that I got. Now, what am I going to use this camera for? This is a special camera. This is a camera for telescopes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real quick the telescope. Here's a telescope I'm going to use it on right here. It's a C8. And I have the field uh, focal reducer on it. And also here is a telescope I plan on using it, which is called, a, it's actually a camera. It's called a camera and it's a telescope. It's a, it's a Schmidt camera called the Celestron Rho Ackerman Astrograph. So this I'm going to use, this is a Fastar camera. As you can see here, it's going to be mounted. The camera is going to be mounted here in the front of this telescope to get a wide field view. So that's the two. So I'm going to leave this off. Because let's get to the unboxing because this is an unboxing video. Now I have to, I'm going to use just a pair of scissors here. I'm going to unbox this thing. And I'm using an iPhone, so unfortunately. This is. I probably want to edit this a bit to get my name out of here because I sort of want my name on here on the video. I'm going to unbox here. Came, uh, came by UPS. Uh, it's like the worst unboxing video. I'm gonna it up a little bit. Okay, here we go. So the package is pretty good as usual. Most, most, I think I bought from them once before. All right, now we're gonna show you see what this thing is like. This is a ZWO camera, supposedly. Hopefully. And this has something else in here, which I ordered, and I need to order one more part, I think. We'll set this aside. Let's get to the camera part. We have some... Get it surrounded with... Uh, oh, we're over 10 minutes. I feel like I can edit out a little bit of that. Whoa! Don't do that too much. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so here is the ZWO camera. Now, this is an astronomy camera. What's this going to be used for? And I have the the color version. I'd also like the monochrome eventually. I might end up getting the monochrome version of this eventually, but not right now. And maybe some other cameras too. So I'm going to open this thing up. It opens up pretty cool. They got this in here. This is a cooled version of it. They have an uncooled version. I want the cooled version because it's doing astronomy. It comes with a cable, USB cable, uh, USB 3 cable to hook up the camera. It's a three meter cable, so it's pretty good. It comes with a couple other cables, small cables. I'm not sure. I guess this is for if you want to have auto guiding or something and run other cables off of this because this has a a USB, a couple of USB, this actually has a USB, this is the newer version, it has a USB, um, whoops, watch out, I just cable this itself, I just have a small stool here, so, anyway, that's that, I'm not going to worry about that too much, the, the camera's in there, it's pretty cool, and here's one of the adapters, Hopefully I have all, all the adapters I need, but I might have to order another adapter. And here is a, there's a humidity, what do they call them? Or to get the humidity out of the camera. We have that. De de descent, descent, whatever they're called. Here's a plug. I think for the thing for the packs, I don't know, some kind of a plug for that. I've read up on it, I'll have to read up on it again. And here's another adapter. This is for, uh, uh, 1.25 lens. So if I want to put, put this into a, into say into the eyepiece area and use this as in, in place of an eyepiece, this comes with this T-mount thing. And that's it. And the camera. I'll try to pull the camera out. Oh, it's kind of there we go. There's the camera. Pretty pretty cool looking. I'll pull it out here. We'll just take a look at this. How this looks. Okay, it's hard to handheld with your handhold with your iPhone and get the unboxing with it. So here it is. 
G Wiz. So there it is. It's got the coolant thing on it. It feels cool already. This is the business end of it, right here. So I'm not going to unscrew it. I'm just going to hold it up. I still have this out here. I'm going to hold it up in front of my Fast Star Hyperstar lens here assembly. So check that out. It's smaller. This is a three inch lens assembly, so it's almost it's almost as small as the filter. Let me put it this way. The whole body is almost as small as the filter. That's how big this filter and this Hyperstar is for this. So this thing does not obscure the, the Hyperstar assembly at all on the RESA. Now if I had a smaller Hyperstar, this will actually work on a smaller Hyperstar. If I get a Hyperstar for the C8, I could actually put this in front of the C8. So I could put this up here on the front and it would work. Where a DSLR will not work with the C8. So actually this camera for the Hyperstar with my C8, I didn't have to actually buy this Frasa or Ackerman Smith Astrograph, but uh, yeah, I wanted it anyway. I got a big mount for it, so. And I'm also gonna, I'm not gonna use this one, I'll probably use a monochrome camera. I could use it for solar too if I wanted to do uh, color solar images, but the solar would be, you know, if you're not using white light, if you're using something like, I have a, a solar telescope below here, but uh, you wanna use a monochrome camera for solar imaging. So I'm pretty happy with this. I got the, uh, i put this back here. i slide this in the box for now so it won't get damaged. And, uh, I'll be taking some images with this next, so really happy. High Point Scientific, they delivered, they had it in stock. I got it really quickly, really happy.